Okay, so AJ, AJ, we might have a problem. This was an old bear recording. And you might be wondering why, why I'm with ISO in this clip. It's because we're actually going to my secret base. This video is going to be about the unknown lore of the most powerful base on Burb SMP. Project Checkmate. So let's dial it back to September 11, April 2022. So I disbanded with Zor and Duplex and Hero, and I started to go solo. I traveled thousands of blocks on foot to get to a village. It wasn't your typical village though. It was a mega cave with tons and tons of room to make a basin. In the cave, there was a massive lava pool, tons of spawners scattered around the location, and I started working. I started expanding my nether tunnel. I made a raid farm with a fully automatic storage system, a creeper farm, a mushroom farm, nearby a different village location, and of course, you have the base itself. So you come from the nether portal, then you dig a dirt block up and then you place water, get the water and go up, go to the nearest mountain you see, go to the edge of it, break two dirt blocks and boom, you're in my base. So the base has a, a lot of villagers with cured fletcher, fletchers all the way down to one emerald per stick. There were clerics there that sell the ender pearls and XP bottles, those were useful for making god sets and you know getting around. Or using them in war, which never happened. Then you have the library, where they, you can sell any book. Like, any book you want, it's there. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Silk Touch, Fortune, Sharpness 5, Efficiency 5. That's kind of the reason why I started Dre's shop, because, you know, I basically can max you out anytime you want. And I got a total sale of 0. The best one I got was before I even made the shop, I sold a god set with thorns to hero. Other than the fact the entire thing's under dirt and none of the outside area is lit up, so you know there's gonna be a bit of hiccups. If you dig down like one block, you, you might find like a creeper hole system, which it might expand forever or something. And then for even more protection, I deleted the entire village. None of this was using console or log or whatever, I literally did this all by hand. The world download I have is the last one I got. It's around to like two months, so what you're seeing right now is not the full thing. Okay, now the lore. There is so much to this base. I can say right now it's literally an arc in itself. So before I talk about the base lore, I have to talk about who other than me knows the base. And I'm gonna name two people. One of them you will not expect. So ISO knows the base. The next person is Ike. Yes, you might think I'm sounding like as if I snorted cocaine a couple of hours ago, but I'm not joking. The three of us formed a PvP group slash a friend group a while back. It's called Triad Trios. The code name for it was TTT. And the reason why I made this group is so just in case of like anything extremely terrible happened, like our base teammates um, betray us or like some really OP dude joins the server, it's like a failsafe if something really bad happened. And some of those bad stuff that was happening was because of nature. There were two times that zombies got in and infected this part of the village. One time I was touring ISO my base, we just went up and we just saw everyone infected. The second time I brought Ike and ISO to my base and Ike put me in a hole while I was eating. And then when I came back from being AFK, I... Oh god, okay. So a creeper blew up and then a zombie just like, a lot of zombies just came in and my mom called me while it was happening. So I had to leave while Ike and ISO was, I don't know, getting iron? I lost some stick villagers that day and those things cost like Nothing actually, they're actually pretty easy to get back, Lamau. Okay, before I go on to Ike, I'm gonna tell you a kind of funny experience with Zor. So Zor found Iso's base tunnel, and behind these specific two blocks were the tunnel to my secret base. I was very worried for Iso's base, because what if Zor griefs it? And I convinced him to not do anything with the base and to leave it alone. He was two blocks from finding my base. That was scary. But all of this is in season 4, so suck it, Zor. Alright, Ike. This man threatens my base every 5 seconds. He literally threatens it daily, and he doesn't care. Like, he bruh, it's so annoying. 
So, for him to shut up, um, I gave him a god set. The god set isn't just iron armor or diamond armor, it's <coughs> full-on netherite. I basically gave him his new set of armor, because his old set is like always zero durability. And even though I gave it to him, he still kept threatening my base. And because when he knew where my base was, he constantly threatened me. For him, he's just like, Oh, give me, make, give me the materials for this freaking piglin farm or something like that. I did once give him piglin farm materials, but that base ended up getting griefed by Max. But in his second base, he was so lazy, he was begging me for piglin farm materials. Another funny story. So I was exiting my team portal, and like behind my team portal, there's like a tunnel there leading to my secret base. Normally it's covered up, but this time I saw it blown up and obviously there. And I was like, well, this is the end, this is the end, everyone's gonna find my base, and then nothing happened. Literally nothing happened, it's just, it's just a hole, and the person who blew it up somehow did not see the hole. I guess that's a win for me. In the tunnel, there's also a private end portal where I got my shulkers and my elytra. I still actually had two bases in my tunnels. So the first one was the one I mentioned earlier. This one had a double spider spawner, a raid farm, a fish farm, and a bunch of other automatic shenanigans. And because of that, since Iso has a very, very bad phone, he was lagging a bunch at that base. So he moved and solely made that base for looks. And that's basically oh. the entire thing. I am most likely going to do the exact same thing this season, but we'll see. If you want to quit because of this, Trace Hub members, I don't like the team. It's fine. It's not my decision. Anyways, I got one last clip for you guys, and I'll see you. Everyone get out of here! I'm not kidding! Stop! This is a good idea! This is a good video! This is a good video! Okay, okay. Listen to me. Three? One in each corner! Okay, okay. Okay, let's go in one, two, three. One, two, three! Go! Double team done. All right. Ike's class 101. Yo, Ike, 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 also, school is about to exist again, so if my upload schedule is ass, you know why. If you want to join a lifesteal SMP and you probably just want to go, go and get involved in some lore, if I are you, join Burb. And join Dre's Hub, I need help in World War, please.